In this video, we want to download and install IntelliJ IDEA for a Linux platform. Specifically, we're going to be using Ubuntu 18.04.01. The reason for that, that is the LTS, the long-term support version of Ubuntu as of the time I'm recording this video. Now, what I want to do is firstly show you the two versions that are available. So I've gone to jetbrains.com. Now, you won't need to do that, and that's because the commands I'm going to be showing you are from the command line to do the installation. But I just want to show you the two versions. So I'm going to go into Tools here and click on IntelliJ IDEA. So that's the Integrated Development Environment or Editor we will be using for this course. I'll just click on Yes to accept that to close the cookies declaration. I'm going to go to Download again purely just to show you the various versions. So we've got two versions there. We've got an Ultimate Edition, which is a paid tool, and a Community Edition, which is a free one. In this course, the Community Edition will do everything you need. So there's no need to pay for IntelliJ unless you're doing some more professional things. You can see over here to the left, we've got JavaScript, Java Enterprise Edition, Spring, and so on and so forth. So if you need that extra functionality in the future, you can come back and uh, grab the Ultimate Edition. You will need to pay for that, although there is a free 30-day trial. And in fact, I can extend that. So uh, you can send me a message if you need to extend the trial for the Ultimate Edition. But I think the Community Edition will do everything you need to do. So let's close that page down, because I mentioned we're going to be using the command line for this. And I'm going to open a terminal window. Clicking on Activities, I'm just going to type the first letter T. Brings this up and click on Terminal. Now there's two commands here. If you want to install the, the Community Edition, I'll type in the command first. So it's going to be sudo space snap space install space IntelliJ dash IDEA, which being the name of the IDE, dash community. Now replace community with ultimate if you want to install the ultimate edition, the paid version of IntelliJ, remembering that you'll get a 30-day trial if you want to do that. But in my case, I'm going to install the free and open source community edition, so I'm going to leave the word community there. And then I'm going to space dash dash classic. Press enter there. I'm going to type in my password. And that's now going to download and then install the latest version of IntelliJ IDEA directly down to our uh, or into our Linux uh, distro. So this version of uh, Linux that we're running, which again was Ubuntu 18.04.1. Okay, you can see the download is completed. It's now inst installing. And you can see in this case for me, it's installed the 2019.1.3 version which is, as of the time I'm recording this video, the latest version of the IntelliJ Community Edition. All right, so we've actually now successfully downloaded and installed that. What we can do is start it, and to start up, we can come back to Activities, and we can just type in IN, noting that we've now got an IntelliJ IDEA icon there. We can click on that, we can close down our command window, give that a moment to start. Now, I'm gonna go through some of the settings now just to show you what, what happens here. So, firstly, we get to, when we first kick on and start IntelliJ IDEA for the first time, we've got an option to import settings from a previous installation. That would be the top option, config or installation folder. And that would be if you've got an old version and you want to import the settings. You know, perhaps you've configured it in a specific way. If you want to do that, click on that and then navigate to that folder. In my case, this is a brand new installation. I'm going to check or we'll leave selected, do not import settings, and click OK. Next, I'm going to agree to JetBrains privacy policy by checking the checkbox. I click on continue. We've got the option to send uh, anonymous usage statistics to JetBrains. I'm going to click on don't send, but obviously you can choose the other option if you prefer. We've then got a choice of theme. Do we want to use a dark background with dark color or light? I'm going to select light only because that's better for video purposes, but generally I'd recommend dark color for uh, developing, and that's what I would, for my normal development machine, I would uh, or do certainly use dark background. Click on next for default plugins. I'm not going to change anything there. You've got the options to disable or remove the, some options if you want. Those things are fine as is. I don't think we need to change anything there. Noting you can always go back later and uh, make these changes if you want to. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to click on Next. And I've got the option to install these three things. We won't be using them in the course, so therefore I'm not going to change anything there either. I'm going to click on Start Using IntelliJ IDEA. And you can see that's fired up IntelliJ IDEA. Alright, so at this point we've now successfully installed IntelliJ IDEA on our Linux platform. There is a little bit more configuration we need to do, and there's a separate video in the course for configuring IntelliJ IDEA, and that uh, video is for all versions of IntelliJ for Windows, Mac, and Linux. 
But uh, the good news is that uh, the, now that you've got to this stage and IntelliJ is booted, the interface is pretty much identical for all three platforms. So fast forward now to that video, or go to that video in the course, and do the remaining configuration, and then we'll be ready to start programming in this course. I'll see you in that next video.